What's cracking? Welcome back to Rattle Can Tactical, where I show you step by step tips and tricks how to paint your rifle, firearm, and all kinds of cool gadgets. Don't forget, if you like what you see, make sure you hit the thumbs up, share this video, or even subscribe to the channel. This installment, I have something that's an absolute must for every single gun owner Tactical Frenchie. That's right, you got an unwanted house guest. You just toss this little dirt devil right on them, they'll be gone in minutes. Problem solved. Actually, I just want to show off his first little merit badge. I'm so proud of this guy. Check it out. Way to go, bud. Proud of you. All jokes aside, this installment, I have a nice little accessory that every Glock owner should have. This is the CAA MCK, also known as the Micro Conversion Kit. The CAA Micro Conversion Kit is made right here in the US of A. Looks like it's made out of some space age polymer but it has a collapsible brace, it folds in, pops open, put the aluminum Picatinny rails on the top and both sides. You could also put a flashlight in here. And it's designed to be compatible with a wide variety of Glocks like 19, 17, 18, 20, 21, um, a few Smith & Wessons and a couple Sig Sawyers. It's designed to uh, assemble real easy, real fast and how you do that is you basically open this back door here, push the button, open the door. Just so happen to have a Glock 31, the 357 SIG. You slide it into the charging handle, you push it forward, you hear a click, you shut the door, and then you slide that forward to hear the audible click. Then you know you're locked in. Then you're good to go. You shoulder it. Allows for a lot more stability, a lot more accuracy. And along with painting the, the body and the brace, I also have two 31 round magazines that we're gonna paint. And also an EOTech optic. Step one is to get my optic in my magazines the same color as the kit so i'm going to get them prepped out for primer and paint One must before any paint project is to eliminate all the oils on the gun. Guns are oily and paint doesn't stick to oil. I usually use denatured alcohol and just rub it down with some paper towels.
All right, now that all my accessories are painted, I'm gonna tape off and take off some of the components of the, of the kit itself. I'm gonna take off this little plastic piece where the flashlight goes. I'm gonna take off the side Picatinny rails which allow the barrel to come out. I'm gonna tape off the top Picatinny rail. And since I'm painting the kit in two sections, I'm gonna paint the body, then the brace. I'm gonna tape the brace off now and then lay out my stencil and then we'll be good to go. Let's go. All right, now that I got it all taped off, my stencil laid out, I got my paint warmed up, which I just soaked in some warm water for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and dust this with, uh, it's gonna alternate between the ultra flat tan and the ultra flat green. Let's go, give it a good shake. Nice little test, clean out the tip a little bit and I'm just gonna dust it. Not a lot of area to cover, nice and light. Go to the ultra flat tan now. Work out the tip, dust it. One last time with the green, cover up any overlap. Let's see. One more time with the tan. Okay, the last step before I put this thing back together is I'm gonna paint the brace. So I'm gonna do that, I have two different kinds of netting. I have a big netting and a little netting. It's basically a laundry bag. I'm going to use the big netting and hit the green first and come back with the small netting and hit it with the light tan. Just gonna dust it. But well, I wanna get my netting pretty tight. Nice and tight all the way around. Get my green paint. And then 
All right, since I really like how that green came out, I'm just gonna do a little dusting with this, with this tan. Kind of right on the end. And then again, you wanna get it nice and tight. The way your print comes out, perfect. Nice and tight here. Just gonna hit the top real quick. Good grip on that joker. That's all I got for you on this installment of Rattle Kang Tactical. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video, hit the little notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Out.